And we're back. Hey guys, it's me again. And this time we have the Viking Toys uh, Iron Fist or the Tekken figure, as you can see in the background. Anyway, it's the Iron Fist 1 6 scale uh, Jin Kazama figure. It doesn't really tell you Jin Kazama on the box, but that's what it's supposed to be. I and mean, then you've got well, well, the insignia there of the figure, pretty nice, and nothing at the back. So you've just got that little logo there, just a, a plain black box with some lettering on that, and then once you take that, you take this slide off it. You're greeted with this part here. So I'll put the camera down a little bit so you can see. Anyway, you've got a little black bit there, and all you would do is you take this part off, and the figure would be here. But I've took the figure out and I've done some fiddling about with it to get, like, get used to the body and stuff. And you get two extra hands. For like holding things, mainly these gauntlets that he's got. So, give you guys a little look here. They're pretty well detailed, I have to admit, for just an unlicensed figure. They're pretty well detailed. Very nice job on Viking Toys' part there. Very, very nice. That's one of the hands. And then you would take this part away and you would have the base with a display stand. But I'm not going to do that. We're just going to skip ahead and go straight into the figure himself. But we're going to take a little look at the stand. So this is the stand here. Pretty standard. Don't know how well that's picking up on my camera. So it's black, and then you, what you can do with that is you can put it like that. So you've basically got more room for like posing and stuff, which is something that Hot Toys can do with. Now, on to the figure himself. And, oh god. Just looking, just looking at this figure, man, it just gives me goosebumps because it is just like I grew up. I actually grew up in the uh, early to late nineties. I'm twenty one, and the game that I would always play was Tekken, and this is. The character that I would always go Jin, and I just had to have any representation of Jin. I just had to have this, and a few, a couple of well, about two, yeah, two or two, two year ago I'd say, I actually got a Jin figure, uh, well, a, a really crap version, well not crap, good for the time I would say, uh, as well as three other figures from Tekken. Uh, we got Forest Law, which I've done a showcase on uh Wei Wulong and Jin's father Kazuya and obviously Jin himself but let me just say this guy just blows this version of Jin just blows all of those ones out of the water because this is the, the most iconic look of Jin. I'll give you a little pan down there of the trousers that he's got in fact a fucking thing that here we go. We have some light here. Now, don't know how good this is, but you can kind of see the light here. And it's really well done how they've done everything on it. I'm going to shut it. And let you guys have a look at the figure. Now, this is a, a muscle body. But it's pretty solid how they've 
like how it's been done and you've got like the little tattoo there of Jin. Of Jin's famous tattoo that he's trademarked for as well as his hair. And his gloves as well, they're really well done. High quality stuff right here. And then you've got his flaming pants as well, which are really well done. Big thumbs up, huge thumbs up. And the head sculpt is just, is, it's really well done. They've kind of, they have actually, I would say for definite, they have really captured the likeness a wee bit. Because remember, it's a video game, so. And plus, it's an unlicensed figure. Let me just move that piece out of the way for a sec. So you, so you get that there. From some angles, you can really see its gin from the game, like facing on. In fact, all round, I would say it's pretty well done. It's just spot on. And the posing you can do with this guy as well is really, really good. Put him back on his stand. Oh shit. Almost. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you've got quite a, a good, you've got quite a good few. You can get him in some really good poses, like fight poses and stuff. Obviously you would need to watch with the body and stuff, but you can get them into some really, really good poses. In fact, I'll give you guys a little demonstration here of the articulation. Now, bear with me a sec. His hand, his arms can go down by that much, like that much there. They can go down by that much, but that much actually, which is really good, because you can get them into some really good poses, fight poses and stuff. Will this arm do it? Yeah, nope. <laughs> Just got to be careful, I guess. Yeah, you can get them into like that arm. Just have to work on, like work on it with the articulation that you've got. But I'm really, really, really happy on how this guy turned out. Because I've been waiting since November for him. <laughs> but, like I said, I'm going to try and do several showcases on this guy. With some really good taken back rounds. And some really kick-ass poses. I think you can still get this guy, I think I might, I did see that there was one available, that the seller had one available, so whoever buys that and gets it, you'll be most happy with it because it is just an amazing looking figure, it's one of the most anticipated figures I've actually had to, had to endure throughout this whole year because I've been waiting on it so long ever since I've seen pictures of it I'm like damn I need to get that because um, if you've not if you're just tuning into this video and you don't have a clue about me like I said I am a huge Tekken fan I have been since the second game came out and I've been playing it non-stop since then I recently picked up a uh, a new controller for my PlayStation, so I can actually play uh, some Tekken 6 on it, and it's just, it is probably, in my opinion, the best fighting game ever, like, so good, but I'm going to stop rambling, and I'm going to, look, I'm going to finish up this video. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed me talking and hope you guys enjoy looking at this figure because, as I said, it is amazing. Pictures don't do it justice. 
in hand does. That's all I have to say. Like the pictures are good, but when you look at it in person, it is just so. It is just so great looking. Insane, should I say? That's the word. Insane. Well, every angle, like there, and especially face on, and like every angle, it's just, it's just gin through and through. Nothing really more I can say, other than thank you guys for watching this video and review. I I've still got the Neo showcase, and this guy showcase is still to do. I've got three vid three basically six videos still to make tonight, and then whatever comes next. So guys, thanks for watching, and stay safe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.